Hello, and welcome back to another game of Satisfactory. Uh, another day, another dollar. Uh, DCD Gaming here, and we're back here. Oops, missed that jump. And back here after a lot of AFK. So, as I left off before, the plan was I was going to go AFK. Now, I done a bit of additions here before I did so first of all uh, what I done was I was thinking I'm gonna need power so extended power for an extended period of time now material not sure how long it actually uh, took before I ran out of biomass but first of all I built a biomass producer so over here I've actually automated the production of biomass for myself so I have in here my logs, my wood, and in here is my leaves. And then each of these constructors are set up for, this is for leaves into biomass, and this is from wood into biomass. And then they both go into a singular storage compartment here on their own. Now, you can see here also, I done one tier upgrade since the last video to show you I done the logistics now I done this for the merger and the splitter specifically for this reason here for this and also I over here if you look over here I automated my screws also now my original plan here was to split off my the iron rods and produce screws and iron rods from the one iron uh, node but then I decided that I'd split them because I had another iron node sitting here. So I turned this iron node into just producing screws and this one just producing rods. And as you can see, I done a pretty much a lot of AFK. <laughs> All my cables are backed up. I think my concrete's backed up through one container already. Going into the second one, you can see they're starting to snake back over there after everything ran out. Yeah, so you can see there. Now, if you see over here, I actually built six additional biomass generators. Now, the reason for that is so that I had a lot of backup time. See, the more biomass generators and the less power you use, the l less biomass you use. So, currently, my capacity is 160. And then my consumption is about, if you look at there, it's about one third. It's 12. One, yeah, one third about one third which means I have six seven eight eight by two hundred at sixteen hundred biomass and if it's using that one third of that per megawatts it is yeah every six seconds it lasts a lot longer so that's why I built those so I could go FK for longer and these wouldn't shut down as quick so yeah, that's what happened since the last one. So a lot of stuff backed up here. Now, so we're, the aim is to try and get a lot of the small things done. So what I'm going to do first of all here is we're going to unlock a lot of the tiers. But I want to show you something I found the last day. As I was going around picking up a lot of biomass, that's another thing. Some people say this is potentially a more difficult part of the map. No, it's not. There's so much biomass around. So much. It's everywhere. Like I've, I don't know how much biomass I've produced there to have all those full, and I'm just after filling them up again. Uh, well, 89. Well, half of me, half of everyone. So there's a crap ton of biomass around. And I've all the cleaned, <laughs> all the twigs, and the leaves cleaned around. Except for this, I gotta pick up these nuts here. So anyways, the next step today is this. So I I want to automate the iron stitch or the reinforced iron plates and other parts. So I have to start utilizing a lot more of this iron ore. Now if you see we won there. So currently the first I've used three. So I have one iron there. I have another one here. I think there's another one around the corner, isn't there? Or is there? No. There isn't. 
But, what I did find, I wonder if it's here as well. Let's see if we scan for iron. Look at that. Three over there. Scan again. With a flash, give me a second, give it a second. Three there. Three there. Wait a second, that doesn't seem right. Does it not? You may say. But I only seen two iron over here. One and two around the corner. See? But. Where's the third? Uh, I found it here the last day. Where is it? Give me a second. It was here. Ah, god dang it! <laughs> now I can't find it. Is it here? Yes! <laughs> oh, look! I built a conveyor belt right over it! I have to move this now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I built a conveyor belt right over it. So, yes! There's another one here. I'm gonna see can I place a constructor on it. Or, sorry, a miner. So that's our first plan, is I'm going to see can I place a miner on that. I wanted to do, give me a second, wait, wait, wait. what do I have? Uh, miner, miner, miner. I need, I think, I need a, I might as well produce a port miner. I need three of them while I'm here. Three, oh god, I need wire and cable. Get over here. Pull all that. I take two over here. Take a pull all that. Yes, yes, indeed. That'll do nicely. Very nicely indeed. So I have to produce three of these. Oh no. Those. Trays. I'll head over here. Let's see, can we build a miner on this? Hopefully, we can. If we can, that means I have three more iron nodes to take advantage of for take advantage of the fact that I have three because I want to um, I want to oh <gasps> look at that look at that two look at that no iron node but a second place eh. Minor. So yes. So I wanted to place three here because we're going to automate steel plates, and I think motors can be produced. There's so much still we can produce with just iron, without needing uh, too much additions just yet. So that'll help us. Uh, later on and get that so first of all I'm gonna nick over here and we're gonna start unlocking stuff start unlocking tiers so first the one tier I want to unlock I need the constructor so make the iron the iron reinforced iron plates I need the constructor um, I'm just gonna take some extra of these actually gonna take take two of each take one of those of those. Take another one of those. Two more of those. So I'm gonna see how quickly I can unlock here. Here. Da, da, da. So really I want to unlock this one first of all because it has the assembler. The assembler I need to make the reinforced iron plates. So we'll put in those. That's it. Uh, have enough and lift off milestone reached more complex assembly of parts can now be automated yes they can now Bob is lifting off there Bob will return in six minutes while he's doing that. I just want to double check it here I, I put on a I found catering and I threw it in here take a look at the sub sub but I need 
So we cater more there. Uh, so I need bacon, aragic, and alien carpus. I have bacon. See, when I've done a lot of exploring, it was great. I got to see so much of the world. I got to pick up so much crap. Uh, put that in there. Yes, 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 yes. Indeed. Carve this back. And sword. And I got my first Mercer Sphere. Sphere. Whip. This alien thing with an impossibly smooth surface. Work in progress. Analyzing this will not give you anything. Yes. Yes, it won't. So. Again, what I need to do is I need to collect some of this because I'll need some of that to start building my constructor and stuff. And so here, assembler. Oh my god, I actually need to make modular frames and rotors. See, that's this is one thing I don't agree um, with the game so far that you actually have to ha you have you have to hand make some items before you can even get near the equipment to assemble it that's the one thing I find frustrating so I have to handcraft modular frames before I can even build an assembler to build <laughs> modular frames it should be that you can automate it first and you can build the process and build a factory around producing it in mass quantities so you can build the next tier up I don't agree with the fact that you have to hand make it first that's the one gripe I have with the game but other than that I love it <laughs> Can't fault the game. <laughs> One. Right. I'm actually picked up the wrong one. Sorry. Sorry about that. Put that there. Put that there. Put this here. That one. So what I need to do is I will need to. Put, I'm gonna make this out here. Three. Curve that out there for a second. I'm gonna bring this one over two. I'm gonna have these starting to go into constructors. Wait, um, I need to get these into smelters first actually. And we're gonna aim here. So you can I place a smelter here somewhere. See if that works. <coughs> and go through the ground. Now you won't do this. Let's see, can I get it to go up here? It's a bit more elevated. And yeah. Work. Yes, it will work. Perfect. So that's going to make ingots. Now, first things first, I need to find out what I need. Get you down for a second. And. Yeah, I'll give me a second. Where is the assembler? So I'm going to build an assembly here first of all. Now what do I need? So reinforced iron plates, I need plates and screws. Rotors I need. So right, I'm just trying to think. I can make rotors specifically of one smelter. Because I can produce rods, split them, make screws and rods. Or make rods and split it into screws and the other part. This one I can try to mm. Yeah, so make plates. Yeah, I'm gonna use two for this and one for this. Or, or 
maybe if I make all yeah I am um, what I'm gonna do first of all is if you give me five minutes here I'm going to get all of these smelting and producing ingots into the one line and then I'm going to actually distribute them out into separate lines in the meantime I'm going to uh, have to make some more reinforced or more modular frames and more rotors. Come more rotors so I can make some more assemblers. Uh, because when you look at this here, I'm going to need an assembler for reinforced iron plates. Uh, I'm possibly going to need to produce choose two because I also need to use reinforced iron plates for modular frames. See what I mean? Anyways, give me five minutes here. And I'm going to sort this out and get this sort of set up a bit nicer than it is at the moment just so I can again I'm just here to produce the parts this is strictly ooh, wrong one strictly it's gonna be messy it's gonna be a bit more spaghetti but we'll get there so see you in a tick it's like watching your baby come slowly into view as you come through the mist in the morning so what do you think uh, got this thrown together uh, since the last part. Now it's been, been two days. Two days since I last recorded. Since I set this up. Uh, so I set this up for uh, rotors and for reinforced iron plates. Now, a bit of a mishmash here, but look at a bit of a spaghetti junction. But that's expected at this time in the game gonna see can I get a better view here yes up here up here so whoop it's it easy so there's our three our three nodes one two three the three iron sorry it's not third one the three iron nodes there there's one further back as well oh no where is it stair god so three iron nodes one two three all smelted into iron ingots which is great one I pulled in here and is producing rods and screws on its own so this one is completely powering the rotors on its own and then they're both going to rotors right here so that's great that's that one then if we go over here I have these two combined so again they're outputting 30 ingots per minute and then they're coming yep whoop they're combined here a bit of a spaghetti look at that nice concrete go through phasing through the steel it's very believable isn't it so yes this one's going over here and then I'm splitting these two off into this sorry this one lane off into three machines this machine is doing the rods more rats and plates and then what I'm doing the far side in I have my rods both being produced into screws now the worst thing is I've put enough rods to actually push out 90 screws a minute onto both belts Then this one is split really 45 45 but still as you can see it's still backing up I'm only putting 125 20 here. Back it up. 19, 30, 60. Yeah, I should be going in twice, twice as much to be reaching, to be hitting this here. So that's grand. And then I have an input. Wait, no. What? What? I don't know what I've done here. I've just uh, they're going everywhere. But anyways, you can see. <laughs> definitely a mess. But we'll get through it. We'll get there. So the reinforced iron plates, five per minute. <laughs> and the rotors. Now I haven't really let this go a bit. <laughs> you can see here 64 rotors. But I've also done, just between the last one, I had to unlock this bad boy. And fuel. Biofuel. The reason for that is uh, this 
has fairly increased my usage of power. So now I'm produ now I'm consuming at the moment a hundred and thirty two megawatts. I'm producing hundred and sixty. Now it's up and down a lot here because of these systems here, but look at that. that's that's taken into consideration. So I got the chainsaw. And I started clearing a lot more crap from around the place. Just to try and tidy up. Again, the destruction starts. I like to get rid of these ones here. Just they're wreck. They're no use. They don't do anything. Limestone, mycelia, silica. And this, you can see there's a sound glitch as well with my chainsaw. It goes quiet after a while. And then I converted this into this is producing biofuel and more biofuel. Now I've done this because, interestingly. So look at your biofuel, it's actually using up one every 15 seconds and producing 20 megawatts. And if you look at this, this is using one every 6 seconds and producing 20 megawatts. Now, for its 2 biomass is equal to 1 fuel. So if you see here, or 4 biomass equal to 2 fuel. So 2 biomass equal to 1 fuel. So you're using up 12 seconds, so you're getting another point three seconds out of using biofuel. Which is a lot better for me because I need to try and get as many as I can. And what I do here is start converting more of this. Uh, has one gone down? I think one's gone down. One's right out of a few. Yeah, look at this. That's great. That one's up. Get, I want to try and get most of these powered up. Get all biofuel in them. Oh. That's another three more. That's great. But what am I doing? Alright, well that's that's what I'm doing. Yes, yes. Yes, that's where I am. So, the next step. We have that set up, so I might as well let that tick away. And the next step is I'm going to unlock all available tiers. I have some extra stuff. As you can see here, right? We'll show you. Him. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Will you come off the screen? I got the nut scanner. I have can do the power shard and the mushroom. The or what's it called? Bacon. And I've also done the color can. So a lot of these are available now to unlock. See, I lock, unlock some of these things here. I had to unlock that. I unlocked the biofuel. And I unlocked the assembler. And the chainsaw. So the next step is to unlock the rest. So I have most of them. Now some mycelia is completed. Please choose a new specimen to listen to the beginning. Now the 20 mice. This mycelia can be used to create fabrics. Yeah. Yes. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Additionally, so I'm going to get that done now. And uh, the cause of an then anomaly. we look at the next stage. So then we look at the next bits and pieces to make up. So here we go. Personal storage, done. Conveyor walls, done. Nut scanner, done. Mushroom scanner, done. Overclock, done. Fabric, done. Jump pads, done. Walkways, done. Color gun, done. Now, as you can see, we have locked everything, which is pretty, like, tier 1 and 2 is pretty straightforward. 
it's not much. We have a space elevator as well, so I have plenty of stuff in my space elevator as well, but we're not going to do that just right now. Oh, look at this. How much concrete? Oh, I have plenty of concrete. So, I went around collecting loads of leaves and loads of wood. Yeah, put these in here. Oh. And leaves. So all the while that will be taken away. Also, I brought these two belts over here and built four containers here. This is just to take overflow. Or not overflow, really to have access to have all these bits here. Okay, so where are we with our fuel? Let's with the fuel. I think we actually have everything except for this one. So now, so that's our fuel completely converted over. Great. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm going in here and getting rid of this. Don't need my cedar. Don't need those. Sort those out. I uh, don't keep the limestone because it's just a waste. Uh, throw in the barrel nuts and the beacon. I think also my research in here is done for yes, fabric or uh, mycelium. Please choose a new specimen list to begin a new analysis. So, carapace, I need 10. This type of mycelia has strong healing properties. R&D has created a blueprint you can access in Hub Tier 3. Mm -hmm. 10 fabric. What makes fabric again? Eh, uh, here, is it? No, it's not. The uh, fabric is in here, so I need mycelia. Biomass. So what I'm gonna do quickly here. I wonder has any of these backed up? Yes, they have. Look at that. I can just grab this and grab the mycelia. I can make some fabric. All I need is ten. It, 10 and we'll throw that in there. I think that unlocks the parachute if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I'm currently getting through my little researches as well and Bob is back. Uh, I'm going to sort this out. I'm going to throw that in there just in case I need it for fabric again. So yeah. yeah and that's that's going to be it for today. So we've got all our tiers 1 and 2 unlocked. I have automated two more products. So we have the reinforced iron place and the rotor is automated. These are still tipping away and filling up. I might go AFK again for a while and let all of these fill up and those fill up as well. If I can go AFK I can let this run in the background. Get a few things done, get some work done. I have an hour now to actually get some bits and pieces done, so I'm going to leave it AFK for then. And then, when I'm gone for the afternoon, I'm going to leave AFK again. I'm going to fill up that stage, a lot of this to be done. Now the biofuel, just top up everything again. And then, uh, let it run. So, that's it for today. Again, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Again, I, this one's coming out a bit sooner, because I'm actually on... Uh, nights this week for my work so I'm on call really but uh, depending on how busy it is uh, basically I'm an IT system engineer and I'm on call for a company I'm not gonna say the company I don't want to say anything about it in relation to here but I'm basically on call so if I receive a call it can be middle of the night I need to wait between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. I have to answer it and deal with the customer's query. If I can refer fix it there and then, I can. Whether it's a hardware problem, uh, then I have to escalate it. Or if I, if it's just a software, I can dial in and just fix the problem. So last night didn't do too bad, so it gave me this time here to finish off this. But so I might have another video up again later on this week, just depending on how busy it is and how um, how much time free time I have this week. But yeah, so 
again, that's it for this week. Or, for, sorry, this video. And uh, we'll see you later. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Slan.